Ha, 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 I have friends. CS 1.6 is a game made by Valve. It's a prequel to Counter-Strike Source and the first one in the Counter-Strike series. And as you can see, it employs a very controversial piece of technology, which I like to call no text. Let's go ahead and get a new game up and running here. I think I like this map. Let's start. Okay, that was the cancel button. Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. It also employs it also employs the mildly controversial tactic of not having graphics, as opposed to the games of today. As you can see, we have a couple options here. We can resume. We can assume our aim. We can is on it, or we can a air ist. I want to is on it. Now that I actually have text to play with, well, um, I, I, I still don't really know what to do, but, hmm, you know, I, it, it, Dust 2's a pretty good map, uh, yeah, I, I, I like that map, it's a good one, it's apparently the only map I can play. As you could see with all these uh, dust two. Okay, Let, let's host a, uh, a dust two map server thing, because I don't want to deal with multiplayer right now. Where's the where's the bots? Are there not bots in CS one point six? Oh, they forgot to add ammo too. I did figure out a cheat that allows you to get bots in CS 1.6. It's called a download Counter Strike Source. I think it's a pretty good, pretty good cheat. Seems to have worked pretty well for me. So you know, you get your basic Counter Strike gameplay. You, you run in there and you uh, plant the bomb because nobody's actually looking at B. And you get an achievement because uh, it, that's core Counter Strike gameplay right there. And then you turn around and just one D that guy because everyone knows the Deagle is the only weapon you need in Counter Strike Source. One league, the rest of them. It's it's really not that hard of a concept. I don't get why people are so bad at this game. I mean, I don't know what why all these pros are all uh are all like losing games when really all you gotta do is just walk up and knife them and plant the bomb and you're good as gold and then you win. That that's pretty much how uh, how this uh, how this how this game works, you know. But then all of a sudden, every once in a while, the game will just change, and you'll just be like, "Val, why are you, why are you changing it up on me? I thought I was playing Counter Strike, not Call of Duty." And it's it's a it's a real problem with some of these Valve games. They really do that. Like, you'll just be sitting there playing some good old CS 1.6, and all of a sudden, you're playing the newest COD Black Ops. You know, I don't I don't know where they get the idea for these games. It really, the, 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 the Valve's model just, it doesn't work. And you win. It's, that's, that's how this is working, you know? And you get the bomb, and it, 
it just it it just it, everything just works out. Nobody knows why, but you know. But then every once in a while, it'll be like you're you're sitting here, you're playing CS:GO, you're having a good time. Valve just throws you into a completely different game. Like, I was actually kind of having fun playing CSGO, killing all those people, but then, no. You're, you're just all of a sudden, you're just playing Dota. It's like, I don't, I don't want to play Dota. I don't, I don't even think Valve made this game. Wasn't this by the Warcraft developers? And, I, I don't even know. You, you, you try to start a Dota game, and then the whole thing starts, and all of a sudden, and bang, suddenly you're playing League of Legends. Like, you really just can't explain that.